Hey everybody, Corey here from Power to Pro. We're here with our favorite tester, Al. We're checking out the Fitness Golf. This is gonna show you a full hole. Al's uh, warming up here. We actually even changed the tee position for him to blues, just so he doesn't have to walk as far, because in our uh, testing warm up, we had him uh, running on the treadmill and doing all sorts of fun stuff, so almost wore him out already. Sorry, Al. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, uh, take it away, Al, and I won't talk during your backswing, or at least we'll try to. <laughs> Alright, so he's got his foot pad on his shoe, and like I said, our treadmill is actually upstairs, so we're going to follow Al, I'll show you the, the view from the treadmill. And so now, he tells you on the screen, how many yards that you have to go, 246, and that he's walking zero miles per hour. Now, if, since I've got the sensor uh, extension upstairs, we're, we're finding that it still actually reads down here, but not quite 100%. You should be within 10 feet of the sensor. So, let's go over here. And so we can see Al getting on that treadmill. And as he's going through, I'm going to start seeing that. Move up. And we found just a slight delay and it could have to do with uh, the sensor, just kind of not knowing whether where we're triggering it from. And then we've also found that as you're walking, to get it with the same speed on your treadmill, you kind of have to kick your foot a little bit um, or walk a little bit longer in order to get to that point. So hopefully we can see all that in there. And the nice thing is, as he's walking down, it gives you the countdown on the left side there for the yardage, and then it tells you your speed that you're walking up at the top. And uh, you can walk through trees, walk through sand. It's a direct line to the ball. So uh, I know one of my shots that I hit, I had uh, I hit past the water and I walked through water. So that was kind of fun to do that. Uh, now, if you're lazy like I am, uh, you can put it on your five-year-old or your kid, like I did. <laughs> so, and after I hit a shot, my son ran around and got to the hole for me. Uh, if you are need a rest or anything like that, it, you can always uh, sit on the couch and kick your foot like Al did. <laughs> Al figured that one out. And uh, the uh, other thing is it actually times you. It gives you a score after your shot or after the after you finish the hole based on how fast you walked or how fast you got to through the course so that's kind of a neat uh concept too to give you some points and give you some motivation to go a little bit faster um and uh definitely a way to keep fit while playing indoor golf i think it's also a way to know what your swing is like after you've actually walked the course compared to just standing in one place. It simulates real golf a little bit more because I'm going to be a little bit out of breath after, <laughs> after this and I'm going to have to hit a golf shot after this. So That's very true. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a little closer to real life in that sense as well. Yeah, it'll definitely uh, keep you going and make you, <laughs> make you a lot more fit and true to life, like Al said. So, uh, very cool idea. Now it's just counting down here. As it's counting down, um, now he could have just stopped a little bit earlier and walked down the stairs. I think it's more a bit of a, the timing on that. So, um, we'll just follow him down. Now, if you don't want to walk upstairs, you can put your treadmill in your golf room. We've had some customers who've had it in the same area and it works well for them. Uh, for us here, it just doesn't work just due to the space. Okay. And now, now after that workout. Now after a workout, let's <laughs> see the ball shot.
and I pulled it. Uh oh. That's okay. Now it's I even got more walking to do. That's even more motivation <laughs> to hit a straighter <laughs> shot. Get through the bush. There it is. Now, instead of us going back upstairs, I'm going to show you what the video looks like, but Al's still going to go upstairs on the treadmill okay. and walk the 174 yards. So, for those of you who just want to walk the course, or if they have a significant other or somebody who wants to walk the course um, without golfing, this is kind of a cool app or a cool feature for them to do. So, instead of just the standard uh, walking on the treadmill now you can actually keep moving and Al's just starting up on the treadmill here and you can kind of see him moving so he's going at 3.1 miles per hour oh, he's picking it up he wants to get there yeah we appreciate that Al we don't want this to be a two hour long video I'm gonna start <laughs> crawling soon <just> so you know. <laughs> it's definitely not for the weak of heart uh, but it can definitely give you a stronger heart, obviously. So even if you did play a little bit less, you know, if you didn't have a, a full 18 and just wanted to get some exercise, I could see this being really good for doing a few holes in the morning. Maybe even pick a few par 3 holes to play and uh, a nice morning workout before you start your day. And we haven't tried the bike sensor uh, that's still on order. The one thing we found with ordering these the sensors from Amazon was that it took a little bit longer than we would like to have it delivered. Um, but you could probably get some expedited shipping, so um, the, the sensors are readily available on Amazon, but I'm not sure if they're available somewhere else. And we just got the link from Fitness Golf to those sensors so we can use it. But uh, I think it would be kind of cool on a bike so you can get there a little bit faster. And Al, you're here. Now, sitting in the sand, and got a sand wedge. Thirty-one yards. Thirty-one yards. Uh -oh. Whoa! Too oh far. no! I'm walking again. You're walking. Now, he can do a little bit of cheating here. We're going to show you a little cheat. You can kick your foot a little bit, or are you going to sit on the couch? Uh, oh, okay. You can I'll kick my foot. All right. <laughs> and it's still a bit of a workout, but it'll get you there a little bit faster. Um, we found that you can't really run in place, but you can run around in the golf room, and that's what I had my son do. He just kept running around in circles. Um, I can't do that. I get dizzy. <laughs> So fire away, you got uh, 23 yards uphill. And there we go. Sit, sit, sit. There you go. And we're on a six foot gimme. Oh, okay. So nine foot, 10 to go. So you actually still have to walk to the ball, even when you're putting. And you can turn the auto putt feature on as well so that you don't have to, to putt. Oh. And so I'm pretty impressed with the sensor being upstairs and he can still get it to read down here. Um, even though the specs say it's 10 feet out. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> All right, 9 feet 10 downhill. You want the green on? The yes, good please. green? Let's put that on for you. Oh, that's pretty... Real downhill looks like it might want to go to the right. Oh, that's quite a bit left. Let's see. Get there. Oh, I yeah, that's a gimme though. Oh, there's a gimme. That's a double bogue. And there you go. Stroke count 6, minute count 11, fitness golf score 17. So uh, that's pretty cool. It'll add all of that up. 
Uh, fitness Golf, guys, this is an awesome add-on for your SkyTrack at a great price. So uh, you'll see that on our website right away here at par2pro.com. As always, thank you so much, Al. Yeah, I love it. It was great. For any uh, questions or to, to order or anything else golf simulator related, give us a shout www.par2pro.com. Take care. Bye-bye.